Hi everyone! If you're new here, I'm Alan with Earth Glow, and this channel is all about sharing the joy of candle making. So today's video is going to be talking about what I purchased during Black Friday. Now, as most of you know, Black Friday is the time of year when all the companies have their biggest sales, and so you know I had to purchase some oils um, since I'm a little bit obsessed with fragrance and proud, um, but actually some of these oils I did really need because I was just about out of, and um, I also ordered um, a, I think a new soap mold or something from Canada. Um, but anyways, yeah, so it's a really fun unboxing and it's kind of my sad haul in a way because I didn't order too, too much this year um, just because a lot of the supplies that I needed, I already had. And also some of the things that I did want to get more of, the companies had already sold out of and I just wasn't as up to date on the email lists. Um, like for example, with Midwest, they had like a four hour sale and um so a lot of his stuff sold out really fast um but anyways if this is something that you're interested in then consider subscribing i'm always posting candle business related content and fragrance videos if you all haven't noticed by now are my absolute favorite to film but anyways let's get right into today's video and i hope that you enjoy So before I flip you all around to open these three boxes, I am curious, what have you all ordered during Black Friday? Um, leave it in the comments below. But anyways, I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm really excited to open these boxes with you all. So this first little box here is from Midwest um, Fragrance Company. And this is a company that I recently like did some reviews on um, my channel. And I do really like some of their scents, but I will say with this company that you really, really, really ought to look at that um, safety data sheet of every single fragrance because this is the only company that I have seen in the fragrance industry that has some fragrances that require a skull and crossbones warning pictogram. And that basically means, they are if we're compliant by the way, but that basically means that they have a um, ingredient in there that requires um, the skull and crossbones warning pictogram, even though they are if we're compliant. So there's only a couple of those that uh, are compliant with IFRA. Um, but anyways, okay, so I'm gonna show you all. So this is one of the oils that um, I really like from this company. Now, this is an oil that I would recommend using it as a blender. This Palo Santo, I don't know, are we in focus? Hopefully we're in focus here. Um, but yeah, I use this one. Um, I've been playing around with using it as a blender with some of the oils that I've gotten from Makesy, and um, it's a gorgeous oil. This is the most true to life Palo Santo that I have smelled, and I'll, I'm gonna be smelling this again and talking more about it with you all. Um, but okay, so let's open this next box here. Um, so this next one, uh, this is from, Winston and Walter and this I believe I ordered this um, Before Black Friday, but I wanted to include it in this unboxing since it was along with a lot of my Black Friday stuff um, This company is located in Canada and they sell soap molds now I found out about this company from Jerrica Zimmerman and um, I really love their molds so this one, let me see if I can get this box open here. Uh, for those of you who make cold process soap, they have these really neat, um, they call it, oh my gosh, if I can get this box open, try to open this and then start talking. Um, okay, here we go. Wow, this is a really big box. So, great packaging here. Um, this is my second one. So I ordered this twice. This is my second time and I've used it extensively. I just wanted another one of these. Whoa. Um, so that I could um, make double batches. But this is their, I think it's their six pound. 
um, mold, and this is the tall and skinny, and I will link it below. Um, obviously not affiliated, not sponsored, but I just really love their molds. And what this um, comes with, let me see if I can, um, well, I'll show you all up close um, uh, once we uh, turn the camera back around. But this mold, um, it's so, so, so good. Um, and I'll show you all how it works once I turn the camera back around here. And this last box is from 1617. And this one just came in today. This is recorded a couple of days after Black Friday. And um, so actually about five days after Black Friday. So this one just came in today and I'm really excited because this box has um, some restocks that I have needed for uh, my Wanderlust collection. But also it has an oil that I've never smelled before. And some of you might know what that oil is. Um, and I'm really, really excited. So, just so you can all see, um, like most of the other suppliers that I purchase from, they do pack their orders with biodegradable packing peanuts. And these are made from primarily cornstarch and you can just dissolve them in water. Um, and they will completely biodegrade before your eyes, which is so cool. Um, and this oil here, um, oh my god, okay, so this is the one that I've never smelled before, and yes, I did buy a 16 ounce bottle, I've been getting better, but you all know I'm a little bit obsessed with fragrance, and sometimes I'm impatient, um, so I got this Grand, Grand Dome, Dome, um, I'm sorry, I'm not very good with French, some of you can correct me on that one. Um, I'm really excited to smell that oil. And then I also got, um, okay, so let's see what's in here. This is, oh yeah. So for those of you who know, um, I can see through the wrapping on this one. This, one of these um, oils in here. So this is Eternel. This one is in my Wanderlust collection. And I blend this one with um, Persephone. And that is gonna be a 50-50 blend. And oh my gosh, okay. Really great packaging here. Um, I've never had any issues with 1617's packaging. Um, but this is, this is per usual, just how they are very scrupulous with, with how they pack the borders. Um, okay. And so let's see. What else we have in this box here? I know I ordered more. Um, okay, yes. So we got Persephone. So Persephone, if any of you have been looking for like a luxury linen type of a scent, um, Persephone is such a good one. And it's a phenomenal thrower. In, um, I've tested this and used it in my beeswax, soy, and cocoa cream wax blend. Um, and so I would say if you do use soy wax, you're going to be able to get a pretty good scent throw from this one. But yeah, I did get a couple of bottles of Persephone as well. And I think um, it's just another bottle of Persephone here. Um, I was all like almost totally out of my last supply. Um, I think this is my last one here. So this is, yeah, I'm not gonna bore you all. This is more Eternel and more Persephone. So I got three 16 ounce bottles of each and these were like 20% off, which um, I thought was pretty good on those. And I think that is gonna be all, yeah, I think that unboxes everything in this order. So I'm gonna flip you all around and I'm gonna talk a little bit more about some of these uh, fragrances. And I'm gonna smell the Grand uh, Dome or Dome, however you pronounce that one in French. I'm really excited for that. Okay, so I just wanted to show you all really quick. Um, so with these Winston and Walter molds, for those of you who do the cold process soap, all you do is you make your soap, this is a really big, uh, like I said, I think it's like a six pound mold, but you make your soap in here and then um, these sides just slide right out like that. And so when you go to unmold your soap, you will just slide out the sides and 
then um, you know you've got just a silicone mold and the silicone liner it's just really easy to unmold most of you are probably very familiar with this if you're a uh, soaper but anyways yeah and then you just put it right back together um, just like that when you are done cleaning it and I have cleaned these extensively after every use um, the wood and everything I don't know if you're supposed to do that or not but it is really easy to just um, to get it clean and then to put it right back um, together in there so I think for that one I paid um, I'll put the cost up on the screen for what I paid, um, but I will just say that they are worth every penny and I can make about 20, 18 to 20, um, I think I make one inch bars in general um, with that tall and skinny mold and yeah, it's, it's incredible. And I'm just really happy with the results that it produces and I love the shape of the soap in the tall and skinny. Um, I think that it's just a little bit different than the standard um, soap molds. Okay, and then this Palo Santo. So if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, and I hope we are in focus here, um, you will know that I have been looking for a really good Palo Santo fragrance. Now, I've already uh, smelled this Palo Santo from Midwest and I will say that this one um, is going to be one that I would blend. And I'm planning on blending this with some of Makesy's fragrances, like maybe their Bronze Auris and Pink Suede, or maybe with um, some of their, um, that orange one. Um, I'll put the name up on the screen, but I'm not sure exactly. Um, oh my God, it's so good. This smells the most like true to life Palo Santo of any fragrance I have smelled. I still wouldn't say that it smells like true to life Palo Santo, but more so than any fragrance oil I have smelled. The runner up to this, I would say um, probably Cal Candle Supplies uh, Palo Santo. And then after that would be the Flaming Candle Candles Palo Santo Patchouli. And um, yeah, Candle Sciences Saffron Cedarwood smells nothing like, they used to call that one Palo Santo, by the way, um, but it smells nothing like actual Palo Santo, which, you know, I am very familiar with the wood. I sell it and um, it has a very distinctive aroma. Um, but yeah, this fragrance oil is really good and I would highly recommend it as a blender. Um, I will say the HT, you know, with most base heavy fragrances, is um, it's decent, not exceptional in natural waxes, but yeah, and this one is also gonna be um, soap safe for category nine. It has a max of 4.36%. Um, so yeah, I think this one would be really good for like an activated charcoal soap maybe, or if you um, make like a more earthy um, wood type of a soap, I feel like this would be just beautiful. Um, but yeah, it's it's stunning. If any of you have smelled the candle that's called Intention by, um, I think Target has a brand that has it, um, but it's a very upscale smelling scent. Um, this smells almost identical to it and um, it's, it's gorgeous. So next up, um, I wanna talk, oh yeah, I really wanna smell this new fragrance. So this is what I'm most excited for with this haul. Um, I have never smelled this oil, but before I do that, I want to talk a little bit about, um, yeah, so the Persephone and the Eternel. So just really briefly, I know I've talked about this before, but yeah, if you're looking for a luxury linen, this is it. If 1617 is out of your price range, check out um, Black Linen and Amber by Nature's Garden. That's another luxury linen um, fragrance that is similar to this. I will say that I don't like it as much as the Persephone personally, but it's gonna be about half the cost. Um, and also this Eternel, it's Magnolia Blossom, Frangipani, Tobacco and Vanilla and Jasmine. And oh my gosh, this oil, I almost licked the cap. <laughs> this oil is so different. Um, and yeah, I blend this 50-50 with Persephone in my Rio de Janeiro candle in my Wanderlust collection. And it is my number two bestseller in that collection. Um, okay, so let's take a look at this new oil. I'm so excited to smell this, you all. So when they came out with this fragrance, um, I had just placed an order from them. 
Um, and I didn't want to just buy this oil, you know, because to have that ship across the country for just one little oil would be pretty expensive. So I have been waiting months to smell this and I've smelled all of their oils so far up until this one. And I will say I am in no way sponsored or affiliated with 1617, but their oils in general, I really like. Um, They're probably the only company that I can name that I have been very satisfied with I would say close to 100% of their oils. Um, and the only reason that I don't say 100% is just because they're Kathmandu, which I love, um, and they're Lombard Street, um, which I like, um, they are not gonna be as strong of a thrower um, by themselves. So I wouldn't recommend, if you use like a natural wax like I do, I wouldn't recommend those oils by themselves, but they are great blenders. And yeah, so 1617 by and large, I would say is is just about the only company that I've tried that 100% of their oils or close to 100% I'm pretty satisfied with. Um, second to that would be Brambleberry and third to that would be Candle Science. Um, okay, so anyways, I'm gonna check out this oil and oh my gosh. So it says the main notes is gonna be bergamot, lavender, uh, Caterini tobacco and balsam fir. So I'm expecting something kind of masculine from what some of the reviewers said. It's kind of an old world type of a scent and I'm just, I'm really excited. I'm expecting something maybe kind of like um, their, um, what is it called? Oh my God, I can't think of anything right now. I'm, I'm very excited to smell this oil. Um, I'll put the name up on the screen of the fragrance um, that I'm thinking of. It's not Kathmandu. It's the other one that I have like four 16 ounce bottles of. Um, anyways, okay. I'm gonna check out this Grand Dome and see what it's gonna do for us. Ooh. Okay, yeah, this is really masculine. This does lean more cologne-like than I would say any of their fragrances do. Like all of their oils, pretty much, it's very, very prominent out of the bottle. Um, wow, this is gorgeous. This is really, really gorgeous. Um, this is definitely an old world luxe masculine cologne type of a scent. Um, wow, yeah, I would have to see how this performs in a candle for me. I have a feeling that this is gonna be a very strong thrower, like almost all of their oils are, with the exceptions being Kathmandu and Lombard Street. Um, wow. Yeah, this is hitting me in the face with the bergamot and the fur notes, I would say. Um, and yeah, I'm really happy that I got the 16 ounce bottle of this. Like, I do not regret this at all. Um, their fragrances are also soap safe as well. And um, I do wish though um, that 1617, and if you're watching this 1617, I do really wish that you would put up some notes on your cold process soap so that us soapers can see how your fragrance oils perform in cold process soap without like throwing them into a six pound batch or something and, and just, you know, wondering because it's very difficult to make small batches, very small tester batches of cold process soap. Um, so some notes on there would be really useful. Um, I don't think they're watching this, but just in case. Um, but yeah, this oil, wow. I, I mean, this is hitting me in the face. Um, and like I said, it's hard for me to tell, like with a lot of their oils out of the bottle, how I feel about this one because um, it's so, it's so, so strong out of the bottle. And I can imagine that this is gonna be a really strong thrower in a candle. Now, I will say that if you are not looking for a more masculine type of cologne scent, um, then I might pass this one up because it definitely is that. Uh, if you're looking for a unique masculine oil, this, I can't really compare it to anything that I've smelled before. Um, yeah, it's a very high-end masculine cologne, but it does lean more old world. So if your clientele is gonna be more like 20s and under, um, I might pass on this one, but I think you could definitely, if you have more of a mature clientele or if you are an old soul like me who just markets that way in general because of who you are, um, I think that you could do very well with this one. But yeah, out of the bottle, it's very, very, very strong. And I look forward to trying this one out in a candle and seeing what this one is gonna smell like when it is burning in my home. 
But anyways, that is gonna be all for today's video. And if you did enjoy my sad, but not so sad Black Friday haul, um, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and leave me a comment at the bottom if you try any of these oils or what types of fragrances that you really like from 1617 and Midwest. And um, those of you who are soapers, have you checked out Windy Point Soap? Um, I'm Like I said, I'm really, really happy with their products. And um, anyways, I'm sending everyone so much love and peace and light. And I'm literally gonna be covered in this new fragrance oil from 1617 because I just like whacked the strip all over my um, body. Um, but I'm sending you all so much peace, love and light. And I'm wishing all of you happy candle making.